on the corner of Dave Niehaus Way and Edgar Martinez Drive. Welcome to T-Mobile Park. We've got open air baseball for you on the show. It's the Tampa Bay Rays taking on the Seattle Mariners. And now, your 2000. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So just about set now. And on the hill today, Luis Castillo. Well, I'm interested to see how he utilizes his sinker to this lineup, Boo. You know, it's not necessarily his go-to primary pitch, but he does mix it in when he needs it. He's just got to make sure that it's not flat. Otherwise, it's going to get hit hard. So look for him to throw it up there when he needs a big double play, a ground ball, something like that to get out of an inning, change it up for a hitter. Also, get those hitters looking down so that it opens up the top of the strike zone, especially late in and at bat. The Rosarena gets it in, and it's now first and second to start the inning. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Cal Raleigh up next for the Mariners. Hey, get your picks up there, huh? Glass now, ready and deals. Line drive, that's a base hit. He went up there and got it with two strikes. I'm that not going to leave this in the umpire's like hands. You. I'm going to be aggressive. Stay it was in a location where you could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there coming back in that at bat. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. and a run comes in to score. They obviously were in a pretty great spot to take the lead right there with the bases loaded, and I'll say that was a good, patient at bat to draw the walk, and you know what? Still counts as an RBI. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to hit now. In the air, left field. A Rosarena after it. Makes the grab. Runners tagging from second and third. A big run scores on the sack fly, and they lead by two. Well, right there, he's definitely looking for more than just a sack fly with the bases loaded and nobody out, but you'll take it. Now it's a so bases loaded with one away. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. Singled and scored his first time. ripped and this one could be extra bases one runs in now a second crosses the plate runner around third walls with a relay home not in time he's safe as three runs come in just so sound in his mechanics hits against a firm front side and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field One out, now runner right. at second. Catcher. And now the switch hitting yeah. catcher, Cal Raleigh. Raleigh. One for one, he singled the left his first time through. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Got him swinging for the strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. Man, I really like the ability oh, to bounce back out. right there after the not right getting the call. Field. He probably should they have gotten it. Didn't let it affect his focus. And he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. Rodriguez stands at second with two gone. Hey, let her rip, let her rip. On the ground, Diaz. He takes it on his own. That's the inning. Three runs for him here, and they move ahead. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the M's five, the Rays two. Isaac Paredes oh, now. Grounded out his first time up. He saw it. Luis Castillo, a guy who debuted in 2017 with the Reds at 24 years old, multiple all-star appearances, traded to the Mariners at the deadline in 2022. And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. Offense held a check there. We head now to the home half of inning number three. It's the M's five, the Rays two. And here is Julio Rodriguez. Drove in three last time off and another chance to put something on the board here. Rodriguez. 
Line drive, base hit. One run is in. Crawford around second, headed for third. The run scores all the way from first. It's seven to two. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. Cal Raleigh digs in now. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. Move to second, and he's back in safely. Really good athlete, and many times we talk about, you know, the feet of infielders. This catcher as well, really quick feet. He's able to recognize the pitch. Runner breaks for third. Bounced out to short. Walls throws to first. One out in the bottom of the fourth. Well a well-thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good downward break on that one. Runner at third with one gone. And now Teoscar Hernandez. He's 0 for 1. Rodriguez stands at third with one gone in the inning. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Well, we see it a lot more these days than we ever did when I played, but a slider in the 90s still catches your attention. Even if you're sitting on the pitch, good luck recognizing that tight spin and adjusting to the late break. Two outs. On the ground to the left. Walls. The throw to first, and that is the inning. They put two on the board with a couple of hits, no errors, and one left. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Mariners seven, the Rays two. And now for That's Seattle, Julio Rodriguez. Julio Rodriguez. There's a swing and a drive. To the warning track, makes the catch. Two homers in the inning lead to three runs, five innings complete. It's the Mariners 10, the Rays 2. Man at first, now up for Tampa Bay, Josh Lowe, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Rudder at first with no outs here. That's out to center field. Makes the grab, tracks it down after the long run. One down. We're at the top of the eight, and now the catcher comes up to him. Rene Pinto. Rene Pinto. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That one carrying, pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back. One down. And up next for Seattle, Julio Rodriguez. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. That one is absolutely belted. And that ball is out of here. He flexes his power with that swing, and they add to their lead. It's 11-3. Singy, the ball is jumping off his back. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Power versus power right there. Like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? But a really good time. Well, a big win by eight runs, and when you have that kind of lead, you make it easier for the pitching staff to come out, make their pitches, pitch to contact, and not worry about giving up the lead. So nice job today all the way around to get the W. And your final, 11-3. to For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chambi saying so long.